in this video i will consider one numerical on mesh analysis find the power supplied by four volt source for the circuit shown below using mesh analysis this is a given circuit here we have four volt source we need to calculate power supplied by this four volt source we need to use mesh analysis or loop analysis method so this is a given circuit so in loop analysis or mesh analysis the first step is we have to mark all loop currents here we have three loops and we have three sources 4 volt and 5 milliamp are independent source and here we have uh, dependent source vx by 400 is a dependent source it is voltage dependent current source it is current source it is dependent on voltage vx where vx is voltage across 200 ohm resistor now let me simplify this i'll assume current through this loop is say i1 i will assume current through this loop is i2 and i will assume current through this loop is i3 i'll give name to the nodes say this is a this is b c d e f say here we have gh so here in this circuit we can observe that there is a current source between loop i1 and i3 if there is a current source between two loops we need to analyze current source first so i can analyze the current source that is 5 milliamp 5 milli means 10 power minus 3 is equal to i1 minus i3 i1 minus i3 let me call it as equation 1 now we need to apply kvl to super loop that is the loop surrounded by this current source is known as super loop so here f a g h c b e f is a super loop that is apply kirchhoff's voltage law to super loop so in bracket i can write that is f a g h c b e f this is the super loop that is here i'll just mark for understanding purpose so this entire thing starting from here so this is the super loop let me apply kvl to super loop so i will start from this four volt source i can write four is equal to voltage across 5 ohm 500 ohm is 500 i1 500 i1 plus then current will flow through 200 ohm so in 200 ohm current i3 is flowing that is i can call 200 i3 then current will flow through in 600 ohm that is 600 i3 then current will flow through 400 ohm so in 400 ohm current i3 and i2 both will flow i can write it as 400 i3 minus i2 because i3 is flowing c to b i2 is flowing b to c opposite to each other so it is i3 minus i2 then current will flow through 1k ohm register plus let me write here plus 1k i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 let me simplify this i can write 4 is equal to 500 i1 plus 200 i3 plus 600 i3 plus here we have 400 i3 minus 400 i2 plus 1k i1 minus 1k i2 further i can simplify 4 is equal to so here we have 500 i1 and 1k i1 that is i can write 1.5 k i directly write 1500 i1 1500 i1 next we have minus 400 i2 and minus 1k i2 that is minus 1400 i2 minus 1400 i2 then we have 200 plus 600 plus 400 that is 1200 i3 plus one two one two zero zero 
I3. Call me this as equation number two. Here in this circuit, I2 is same as Vx by 400. I2 is nothing but Vx by 400. And Vx is nothing but voltage across 200 ohm register. That is 200 into I3 is nothing but Vx. That is 200 I3 divided by 400. Or I can write I2 is equal to 200 by 400 is 0 0.5. I3. So I2 is equal to 0 0.5 I3. You can simplify equation 2 as 4 is equal to 1500 I1 minus 1400 I2. I2 is 0 0.5 I3. That is 0 0.5 I3. Then plus 1200 I3. Plus 1200 I3. Let me let me simplify. 4 is equal to 1500 I1 minus so 1400 into 0 0.5 that is 700 I3 plus 1200 I3 or I can write 4 is equal to 1500 I1 minus 1200, 1200 I3 minus 700 I3 that is plus 500 I3. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2, let me call it as equation 3. So now we need to solve equation 1 and equation 3 that is solving that is solving equation 1 and 3. So let me write equation 1 here that is equation 1 is phi into 10 power minus 3 is equal to i1 minus i3. This is equation 1. Now let me simplify. Let, let me solve equation 1 and 3. I will do it directly using calculator. So to solve this, keep calculator in equation mode. So here equation is phi. So here we have two unknowns. So choose option 1. So now in first row, we have to feed the equation in from equation 1, feed the coefficient of I1. Coefficient of I1 is 1, press equal, then coefficient of I3 is minus 1, press equal, then coefficient of, then phi into phi milli, that is 0 0.005. is equal to then in equation 3 coefficient of i1 is 1500 press equal coefficient of i3 is 500 then this value is 4 press equal so we got i1 is 3.25 milliamp and i2 is minus 1.75 milliamp gives I1 is equal to 3.25 milliamp that is 3.25 into 10 power minus 3 amp and I3 is equal to minus 1.75 milliamp. So now the question is we need to find the power supplied by 4 volt source. So here power supplied by 4 volt source we know that P is equal to voltage into current. So voltage is 4 volt. Current is corresponding current in this loop is I1. Therefore, power supplied by 4 volt source is V into I1. That is 4 into I1. Therefore, power supplied by 4 volt source is equal to 4 into I1. That is 4 into 3.5. 3.25 milliamp or I can write milli or 3.25 into 4. So it gives 13 milliwatt. So therefore power is equal to 13 milliwatt. So this is the power supplied by 4 volt source for the given circuit and this is solved using mesh analysis. Thank you for watching.